know you don't really like to think of it as making it, but what moment did you realize, you know, I've made it. I've reached that point where, you know, my parents could be proud of me. Like, I've pursued music and I'm successful in it and I don't need to be a doctor or a lawyer or what have you. No offense to any of those doctors or lawyers out there, but you know. Um, I guess it was the first time I played jazz festival with uh, my, my old band, The Bondicle, because it's Montreal Jazz Fest is, is one of those um, again, one of those career moments that you, you, you dream of, but that you don't necessarily, uh, that you can hope for, but you don't necessarily have the expectation of, of living. And to actually have them that say, you know what, we like your band, we're putting your band prime time on, on a great stage, and to have thousands of people like moving to you and, and just showing you as much love as you're giving from a stage, that, that's when I was like, yeah, you know what, this is really, like where you need to be. If you had any doubts, they're gone. Yeah. So of course the jazz festival had to be a very memorable moment because that's when you realize, you know, I am exactly where I need to be. Um, what are other memorable musical experiences you've had or artists you've worked with? Uh, opening for, for Manu Dibango and, and Yu Sun Duo was amazing because those are two, two uh, artists that have influenced me a great deal. Um, as a kid, I, I was part of a, the, um, the um, what you call it? Ah! Uh, <laughs> we are the world uh, video studio session, uh, which was pretty mind-boggling. That 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 was something that, that definitely um, um, struck me as a as a kid, as far as music goes, and as far as how it can it can touch and move and, and, and just the energy that it can, how it can fill a room. Uh, my first concert outside, the Simon and Garfunkel in Central Park, that was pretty amazing. It's, it's a memory, one of my first memories actually, like let alone musical, just memories full stop. But uh, as far as collaborating, uh, recently I got, I got a chance to share the stage with Kevin Bright, which was an amazing um, um, discovery because we, He's just a beautiful player, and is somebody that I didn't really know before. But but just the exchange was magical, um, and just everybody really that I've had a chance to to to, to meet, encounter, and, and play with, like Gern from, and everybody from the Steelworkers has been a, an amazing encounter. Trisha Foster, Cindy, Bell, everybody uh, that I've had a chance to, to to share that moment of of making music, and and just seeing the, the beauty, a transcendental beauty to life is uh, memorable. So, And everybody that I'm not mentioning right now that I've had the chance to exchange with. Yeah. Do you have any, because you've obviously, you've traveled, you've been around, you, you've I seen a lot of... Tell my mother though. <laughs> <laughs> you've, seen a <laughs> you've seen a lot of <laughs> shows, you know, you've, you've seen a lot of shows, you've performed a lot of places. You said you were at the We Are The World with as a kid, and um, if do you have a dream gig or a dream location you would love to be at or perform at? You know, to, to me, every gig is a dream gig because it's an opportunity to do what I do and share it with people who are open to hearing it. So uh, every every one of them is a dream one. I mean, from from a from a kid, for sure, Wembley Stadium is 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 definitely a venue that I would love to. To, to set foot in and, and, and play. And it doesn't matter whether it's my project or somebody else's, just the history within those, well, I'd, I'd say walls, but it's outdoors, <laughs> is, is pretty priceless. Um, and, and just anywhere, anywhere. I'd love to, to be able to play again in, in, in Cameroon, or I'll play in Cameroon, you know, and, and go back to the roots and, and, and share, share what I do there, Brazil, I mean, anywhere, really. Any stage to me is a dream location. It could be your house, even. <laughs> um, speaking of dreams and, you know, dream locations and, you know, helping people s get to their dreams, with Gern F, Gern. you've, Gern, sorry, um, you've, you know, started Chick Pickin' Mondays in Montreal, a singer-songwriter showcase of female artists, pretty much. Is there a reason why it's just females? Is there something a female can bring to songwriting that a male can't? Um... Yes and no, I guess. I think every individual brings something to, to songwriting that the other one doesn't. 
um, the idea be behind chick picking was more that women tend to be uh, shy or less aggressive than, than guys. And, and, and it's not to do like the stereotypical uh, sex or, or gender separation, but it is true that, uh, that a lot of, of female music, women musicians um, don't, are, are polite, too polite. And so uh, the idea was to, to give them a chance to be in a, a very unpolite bar, <laughs> but to, to do what they do. And, and there are some, some really great, great artists have, have graced the stage. So um, it's not a man-hating thing, you know, as much as Grin likes to say that he's the biggest lesbian. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but no, it was really the idea to, to be able to give a, a, a platform to, to, to A, to, to singers, singer songwriters who didn't necessarily know how to get their first chance, or for seasoned players who, who just wanted a, a nice listen, listening room. So you get this, this rowdy Irish bar that turns into a quiet listening room every Monday for, for women to do their thing. That's all the time we have for tonight on Around the Region. I'd like to thank all my guests for joining me and a special thank you to April Valoroso for all her help this week. If you have a question or comment about anything you've seen on tonight's episode or a story idea that you think I should know about, you can send me an email at aroundtheregion at newcap.ca or you can contact me through our Facebook or our Twitter page. I'm Kayla Buchanan. Thanks for watching Around the Region and have a wonderful evening. <laughs>